Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and we're just here for another Monday chat. I'm just going to tell you about what I've been reading, what I'm planning on reading, other things that have been going on in life, um, which there are not a lot of, because I basically read a lot this week and didn't do much else. Um, I did go back to work. Um, I mentioned last week, I think, that I work for a friend a couple days a week, and I did go back this past week and start doing that again, so that's taking up a couple mornings a week, um, which is great. I'm glad that I can be back at work again. Um, and then yesterday was Easter and we got to hang out with my parents and I got to hang out with my brother and his family and we haven't seen them for quite a while other than just, you know, in passing, if that. So that was super fun. We got to have a nice meal with them and do Easter egg hunts with the kids. Um, and just, yeah, had a really nice afternoon with them. Um, so that was great. But yeah, other than that, not much has been going on. Still pretty much just hanging out at home. Um, but I did get lots of reading done. I actually completed five books this week. So let's chat about those real quick. Um, I started off the week with Calamity by Brandon Sanderson. I finished Firefight last week and then didn't have this one, but my mother was wonderful enough to order it for me. Um, so I had this one. This one was great. This is the end of the Reckoners trilogy. So this kind of wraps up everything. And I thought this book was really, really fantastic. I thought it did a great job. Um, and I really loved the trilogy. And now knowing the ending, I'm, I kind of want to go back and reread the whole thing again, maybe later in the year or next year. We'll do that. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. And I'm pretty sure my whole year is just going to be a Brandon Sanderson binge. I'm pretty sure I'm going to try and get through most of his books this year. So that'll be fun. Then after that, I picked up Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which is a reread for me. Um, and I was debating on whether to take it off my shelves to get rid of it or keep it. Um, and I have decided to get rid of it. It's fine. It's I mean, I enjoy reading it, but it's not one that I think I'm going to want to pick up again. It, It's like a guilty pleasure book, only it's not pleasurable enough that I think it's worth it. <laughs> um, like, there's parts of it I enjoy. There's characters I like. I really like Levi. Um, do I need to tell you what this is about? I probably do. I feel like everyone knows what this is about. This is a contemporary about Kath, who um, goes off to her freshman year of college, and she writes fan fiction for Simon Snow, which is basically Harry Potter. Um, and yeah, just kind of her first year at college, um, dealing with family issues and boy issues and just, you know, lots of issues in general. Um, there are things about this I like, but overall it's not something that I think is, is great reading. I don't think it's something I'll pick up again. So it's going to go away. Um, but this did meet a prompt for the magical readathon it met the Muggle Studies? Yeah, Muggle Studies, which was a contemporary. So that worked for that. And then I read Equal Rights by Terry Pratchett. This is book three in the Discworld series. And this one was a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying these books, um, even though it's been quite a while since I picked one up. But this um, follows a... We start off with a wizard who is about to die, so he wants to pass his wizarding powers on to someone else. Um, so he's in search. He goes off to find um, the eighth son of an eighth son um, because they're supposed to be magical. So he goes to find them. Baby is born and very quickly before the wizard dies he kind of passes on his powers to the baby only then to realize that the baby is a girl not a boy. So it's dealing with a female, a girl who has wizarding abilities but girls are not supposed to be wizards. It's um, it's very much a book on gender inequality, but done in a very funny way. Um, so it's about this girl trying to get into wizarding school and yeah, just, just lots of, lots of humor and lots of fun. And yeah, I really enjoyed this one. And this one counted for the history of magic prompt, um, for the magical week song. That was a book about witches or wizards. Then on Saturday, the Wine and Cheese Reading Social happened. That was hosted by Rainy Day Reads and Elaine Howland. I'll link both those channels below. Um, and so we were supposed to read something that was food or drink themed. So I picked up All Four Stars by Tara Derman. This was something I just had left over from middle grade March that I hadn't gotten to. And this follows our young protagonist, Gladys, who has a passion for food. She wants to be a, um, a food critic, um, but her parents don't cook and they forbid her from cooking. Um, so she ends up writing this essay for a big contest and 
um, somehow her essay gets picked up by um, the food critic of the newspaper instead of by this competition where it's supposed to be. Um, so she ends up as a food critic and just the drama around this little girl doing those things and trying to keep it a secret from her parents because she's not supposed to be cooking. She's not supposed to be doing these things. Um, this book was cute. It was very meh and I didn't like the girl. Gladys is pretty much deceives her parents the entire book and disobeys them and gets away with it. Um, and I don't really like that. So it's fine, but it wasn't great. And then the last book that I finished just this morning actually was Beauty and the Beast by Gabrielle Suzanne Barbeau de Villeneuve. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll put it on the screen. It's French. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Um, but this is the original Beauty and the Beast fairy tale, which I never read before. I love the story of Beauty and the Beast. This was nothing like the movie, which I'm not really surprised by. Um, but it was really nothing like the movie. There's a girl who's beautiful and a beast and a castle. And that's about it. That's pretty much the only similarities. This one has monkeys and theater and um, magical trunks. And well, I guess that's in the movie. Um, yeah, but it was fun. It was, again, just really, really different, much more different than I was actually expecting. Um, even though I was expecting it to be different. So it really was different. But I enjoyed it. And this is a beautiful illustrated edition with fun little kind of interactive elements in the book as well. Um, so I really enjoyed having this edition to read from as well. Um, but yeah, it was good. I liked it. Oh, and this was for the Transfiguration prompt, um, which is a book that features shape shifting. It's a little bit of a stretch. Not too much, though, I guess. But anyway, that was that. So those are the five books that I completed this week. And then I also worked quite a bit on Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I'm about halfway, more than halfway. I think I have about 100 pages left. So I'll definitely be finishing this one up this week. And this is also very different than I was expecting. Um, like a lot different than the traditional story I feel like you get in the movies. It feels like there's just a lot more complexity to it. So I'm enjoying it. I'll let you know next week how I kind of end up feeling about it. And then I'm also planning this week, I haven't started it yet, but today I'm planning to pick up Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. This is a chunky book, but I think I'm going to make it kind of my main focus this week. And so hopefully I can get through this whole thing too. But that's the plan for this week. Who knows? Maybe I'll pick up something else too. But yeah, that's how my reading's going. And like I said, nothing else much really has been happening this week. So that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm not going to show you my cross stitch because I didn't work on it at all until a little bit yesterday. I did finish the puzzle I was working on and now I'm working on a new one. So that's great. And yeah, I think that's about it. So sorry, not a very exciting chat, but you know, I read five books, so that's winning. I'm almost to my Goodreads goal for the year. I think I've got six or seven more books to go to hit my Goodreads goal for the year. So that'll happen this month too, which is exciting to hit the goal, you know, in the first four months of the year. But yeah, that's it. So I think we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you had a great week. Let me know if you did got to do anything fun for Easter. And yeah, thank you for taking the time to watch.